Hello everybody and welcome to the 2024 Sky Marshall Cup. Very proud to present it here in my childhood home that I lived here for many years and now it's my home again. Um, and we've been doing a lot of renovations at this uh, house, but uh, yeah, no, they've, uh, they've come along pretty good, but there's st still so many more to do, but you know what, all in due time. For now, I'm gonna show you what I've got set up here for uh, the lucky players playing in the 2024 Sky Marshall Cup. And we're gonna go over our eating venue. And this is where we're guys are gonna party and uh, eat some good food, have lots of drinks, snacks, and everything else. We've got five chairs set up here. And uh, we got Gatorade, water, various kinds of pop, chips, dips. We have our alcohol over here, which when we get closer to uh, game time, we're gonna put some ice in here, get these chilled and probably uh, get some reinforcements. And then we're gonna have uh, over here drinks, um, plates, and then of course, assorted alcohol for anybody who uh, might want a stiff drink after a, a good victory or horrible defeat. We've got some music playing here, Lice Waters, uh, and coffee if they want to as well here. And then of course, I got the old version two uh, fabric map up here. I figured, ah, oh, well, why not? Let's put it up and and hide uh, hide everything and see how it looks. And then we'll have some coolers and everything else here. But this will be uh, our uh, relaxing area. We got some good shaded umbrellas up here, and um, yeah, it'll be uh, a great little venue. But let's go down into the war room. You know, as we do renovations in this house, um, we're gonna go down here to the uh, basement and you can see right here we have uh, my favorite piece of artwork i ever bought uh, it's called together by craig tracy love it still trying to find a permanent home for it but i think this will be uh do just fine now in here is the sky marshall lounge my office um and it's uh like i say it's uh it's been a lot of a lot of work on this but I'm very happy how everything turned out. Um, still doing a whole bunch of little small details and fixes and whatnot. But this is where we're going to have Table Fletcher. And Table Fletcher is obviously going to be manned by General Hand Grenade's fine pieces and artwork. And you can see right here, Mad Men Dan and, uh, and General Hand Grenade set this up, I believe, on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. And now it's ready to go. They got all their pieces here. Um, fair bit of room in here. I wanted to make sure that they have access all the way around. Uh, and they do. And then of course we've set up our board here as well. Try to get as much details and information. And obviously this is how they're gonna set it up and do whatever they want. I gave them at least two technology charts because it can get very crowded uh, very easily. So, and over here we have uh, TV. The uh, need some viewing inspiration and then over here this is my computer desk uh, i've had this in the lion's den for a few years now but i love this so much because uh, if you guys are famous bond villains this is uh, a very cool um, six screen um, computer system that i have here for my office and of course it is controlled automatically by a switch that brings it on down so that if you're having a meeting or having conversations you no longer need it or you can actually just stop it there if you want to just look above and look over while you still have some access to some computer screens or it can keep on going down to the point where it totally closes off and you have your big office back again over here we have our security camera set up this uh is just helpful for family friends and of course you can see here where we're having uh, dinner but you can see the whole yard and the property around there over here i put up my um travel map in my office here my led one this was in the old lion's den and we brought it and reconfigured it to fit in my office my old hidden secret door that some of you might have seen I've taken it, and no, there's not a secret door behind this anymore. I've just set it up for a lot of travel stuff, places I've been and things I've done. Over here, we'll be having a bathroom and the treasury and armory is in here, as well as some garbage cans. And then over here, oh, I don't know where we go. Where would, uh, where would the other war room be? Where's Table Nagumo? 
Well, I'll show you. It's right behind this secret bookcase. That's right, I've upgraded from this one to this one and it's automated. So it actually reveals the hidden war room behind it. And if you go back here, it's automated. So once it fully um, reaches its end point and you can adjust the speed on this, it uh, stops and therefore revealing a hidden corridor into a secret room. Now setup is still happening in this room. We still have lighting to do and whatnot, but here are some victory cigars uh, for when uh, we finish the game. But in here, this is the new war room. And uh, I'm happy with this. It actually turned out better than I thought. I like it even more than my old war room. Obviously we have our traditional uh, Sky Marshall table here, you know, the probably one of the nicest ones um, a lot of people have seen. Uh, I designed it myself and I'm still tweaking it, still changing it around, but it's all backlit with LED lighting around the border. It has stainless steel here and then of course these cups, which I've devised different systems where you can have singles or doubles or triples compartments um, or even quadruple compartments. Uh, for various chips and then of course we have our flight stands all the way over here all various colors all various nations and the board itself is set up looks really nice happy with everything here going to be great to go into some gameplay and of course we have our bells here for when our turn is over we are going to finish and end it and then pass it on to the next player in the turn sequence over here, um, I have bought, and they've discontinued these, Maxim, so I was actually able lucky to get some more of these, just in the nick of time. And these are obviously drawers here for, um, what, what actually we're going to be doing here is that there's actually four drawers here, and these are our dice battle boards here. Um, just because of the uh, situation here, with me still trying to figure out some stuff, I've made all top four drawers here, where we can do our battle board attacks. Um, and then pull it back and then we can have some more room here. And then I think we have uh, various other games and whatnot in the drawers. Here we have our setup, our, one of our prize tables, our awards tables. Single general stars, double general stars, triples for anybody who's carrying on with their victories if they're victorious this year. We have the setups here, all the tags for uh, potentially any one of these, or at least three out of the six will be going on the Sky Marshall Cup. We just don't know who it is. And uh, whoever does win, if Common Term Friendly Fire wins, it will put this turn of the tide sequence uh, or um, banner as our, our main theme this year. We'll go in here um, and then we'll post that on. And here are the, here's our ribbon bar. This is the fourth uh, year. So we have the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, which will be given away as as um, some souvenirs here and then of course we have the um, the lucky recipients of our peer driven awards which we'll get, get into a second and we'll be putting this on whoever ends up winning it um, and then of course we here we have our breakdown of our generals there's only one air marshal right now uh, I think there's one admiral out there or two possibly and then there's a few generals and uh, yeah so that's that up above this is our victory point uh, tracker so you can see here we have Axis, Allies, Common Turn um, markers. And what I've done here simply is if the CCP uh, gets this victory point or involves to a major power, we'll just take this off here and then go down to the CCP and put it wherever it needs to be. Um, it just helps keep track of the victory points. I asked Doug to make these Axis, Allies, and Soviet victory markers just rather than using magnets of having a Chinese flag or a Japanese flag or a German flag. Uh, it just makes it easier because we're trying to count victory points here. We don't really care who occupies Paris, whether it's Italy or Japan for that matter. It doesn't really matter, even though that would be impressive. Over here, we have our Sky Marshall Cup championship rings. Now there might only be one champion this year, which in case this or one of them will be discarded, or if there's two, then I'll get to award these here. Here is my last year's ring. I was lucky enough to win this with um, freaking wrecked, which was nice. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we had some good times. And then, of course, um, an actual display case. Here is one of the newest awards that I have devised. No one's going to win it this year. You have to have a, be a five-time champion to get the Field Marshal Baton. 
and of course we have the Field Marshal logo on here, and then we have some lovely um, inscribing. I'm a big fan of Napoleonics, and anybody that remembers Decus Pacus Terabelli, um, then uh, you will know what that means because that was engraved on all Napoleonic Field Marshal batons. And then, of course, we have the medals, first, second, and third class. Um, you know, whoever's going to win them, we cannot say, but um, it's going to be fun figuring out who uh, who becomes our champions this year. Um, here are, uh, these aren't really part of the prizes per se, but these are just new Sky Marshal card holders that I've made up. Here are the most diplomatic, most strategic, most honorable commanders. And we don't know who's going to win this because it's going to be a peer-driven thing, voted. And whoever did, does gets the most votes, uh, whatever player it is, then will be awarded whatever nation they're playing. So if they're an Axis power, they might be capable of winning all three. Or if somebody's a common term player and if they get the most honorable, then they'll get the um, Order of Lenin, right? And then, of course, we'll put the banner down there on what it is and what they've won. And of course, you can see here everything's displayed and with what their names are. Last but not least, we have Table Legumo and Table Fletcher. The Sky Marshal Cup um, Order of the Sky Marshal Cup Award given out by me to who I feel was the best overall commander um, on each table. Barring myself, of course, because I cannot win this award. It's something I give out. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll have a fun time picking uh, the best player overall. Here we have the beautiful Sky Marshal Cup. A few new additions up here, actually on the cup itself. And uh, we've done some new reinforcements. Uh, well, not even really reinforcements, some new bling on the uprights here. And then of course we can see last year's winners. And then of course this will be rotating during the tournament. And then we can see the second and third place winners as well. Um, and then like I say, we will go from there. So anyways. Um, here we have the Sky Marshal Eagle, just got mounted yesterday. I think it was the day before, I can't quite remember. Beautiful, looks nice, stainless steel backing, um, just gives it a bit of presence and power in the room. Um, and just, uh, well, knows where you are. Favorite part of this room has to be the hex lighting up here. Loved how this turned out. Very cool and super bright. Probably far brighter than any other room I've ever been in or played in uh, so no issue for any senior citizens that might be playing with us <laughs> if they can't see things the only thing is sometimes with a lot of light i've lost a lot of my fittings so sometimes there's a lot of reflection which is unfortunately uh one of the downsides of that over here we have a bar fridge we have uh where we're going to be voting for the uh for our peer driven awards once again our security tv camera so we can see where anybody is, if we need to get somebody back to the battle boards. Over here, here's our income tracker and technology for each major faction, Lenin, Moscow, Stalingrad, the Axis, the Allies, so on and so forth. Everyone, if you're an Allies, this is gonna be your board. If you're Comintern, if you're Axis like me and uh, Man Man Dan, this is gonna be our board and we're gonna be moving and keeping track of our income. Uh, over here, we have some of the big things like the Vichy, the Free French, and then the minor powers, and then we have Canada, and then we have the uh, Spanish Civil War. And of course, we have the TVs up here with some historical context. And uh, I'm trying to make this room feel like you're in a real bunker, in a real war room, enjoying, you know, the, uh, the, the joy of commanding an army uh, in such a place. So I'll be very happy uh, once we kick off festivities, and hopefully you guys Enjoy this little tutorial video and we will see you on the battlefield. Take care, Sky Marshal out.